If there's one thing you need to master as a video editor, then it's time efficiency. Especially in the beginning when you don't work on a revenue share or value yet. You can effectively double, triple or quadruple the amount you get paid per hour by just becoming more efficient. Let's say you charge $100 for a simple Instagram reel. You work on it for hours and hours and hours. You check your clock and you see that you spent 10 hours on this video. That would mean you effectively get paid $10 an hour which for some people can be really nice. But let's say you don't spend those 10 hours. Let's say you spend two hours on this same video. This $10 an hour changes into $50 an hour. Now that is what you're gonna learn in this video. I will give you three principles that make me go from $10 an hour to hundreds of dollars an hour. But even if you're not in it for the money, how nice is it to become better and efficient at your craft? to have more hours in a day that you can spend on other things. And maybe for you that's relaxing, watching Netflix or spending time with family. So after watching this video, you will understand the basic principles on how to become a more efficient and productive editor. And I will give you the secret technique that helped my editing efficiency increase by tenfold. Now let's jump into it. First, keyboard shortcuts. Now this might sound easy, but a lot of people are not using them enough. And let me help you with this, you don't need to know every keyboard shortcut. You actually only need a few to increase your editing speed. Now Windows is using Control and Mac is using Command. I'm now just gonna say Control from now on. But other than that, it's exactly the same. I'm gonna tell you which one I use the most. Without a specific order, Control D to duplicate your layer. P, S, R, and T to change layer options. U to see all the keyframes. Control Y to create a new layer. Control shift y for a new adjustment layer. Alt left or right bracket to trim a layer. F9 to easy ease. Control shift D to split a layer. Alt R to reverse a keyframe order. Left or right bracket to set the in point or out point of the layer. And control shift D to pre-compose. Now there's a bunch of others, but these are the ones I use the most. The second principle is using tools to your advantage. Now, as some of you might know, I'm not the biggest fan of plugins. I try to make my videos as accessible as possible. Using a lot of paid plugins is not part of that vision, but there's a couple of tools I can't live without. Instead of manually captioning every single video, which will take hours of your time, I'm now using Submagic. I'm almost using it every day, and not only that, they're also the sponsor of this video. I'm free to say whatever I want about it, but trust me, even without the sponsorship, I'm using it. And how it works is you upload a video to their platform, you select the language of the video, AI does it work, and then you can choose any of their themes, including the style of the creators that I featured on my channel, like Ali Abdal and Iman Gaji. They now even have a built-in editor where you can trim the video. Of course, you can change the style of the caption, the caption itself, and now you can even share the video with your client, which saves a lot of time. Of course, I got you a discount code. It's in the description, including the link to Submagic. But like I said, it's a tool that saves a lot of time. Other tools I'm using right now is True Comp Duplicator, which makes it really easy to duplicate a composition with everything in it. I'm using Animation Composer for a lot of standard effects. And of course, Deep Glow to make everything look cool really easy. Now let's go to the third principle, and that's Workflow. And I think a lot of beginner editors underestimate this. You just start your After Effects, you put in your project file and you just get going. And this is also how I did it for years. And I thought it worked because at the end of the day, I exported it, I sent it to a client and the client was happy. But what I didn't know is that with some simple tricks, I could have done this in only a couple hours instead of 10 hours. And I only found out about this years later on. So this must have costed me so much hours. Of course, the workflow depends on the project and also depends on the person. But the best trick in the book right now is to make sure you get the animation done as quick as possible. Now you're thinking, of course, Tom, I want the animation to be done as quick as possible. But what I mean with this is ignore everything else. Ignore your perfectionism. Ignore spelling mistakes. Ignore timing. Ignore everything except making sure that all your animation is done. You will end up with a video that includes spelling mistakes, where the timing is not correct and maybe the effects are not even that great. But by doing this, you do three things. One, you focus on creativity. How I see it, you have a hourglass of creativity and once you start the After Effects, it will start to run. Make sure you got all your animation done in this small creativity timeline. 
The second thing that this does is it makes sure that you're less of a perfectionist. Because by doing this, it forces you to not be a perfectionist. And the third thing that this does is it will make sure that the full video is filled with animation and not only the first part. I've seen this time and time again where a video is really great at the beginning and it ends off really bad. And I still sometimes make this mistake, it's only human. But by applying this trick into as much projects as you can, you will avoid falling to this trap again. Again, check out Submagic, link is in the description. If you want to become a better editor, but also a better paid editor, then do join my masterclass. You will then join a community of amazing editors, but also people that are willing to help out and have the same goal in mind as you. Link to join the masterclass is in the description. Let me know which tutorial you want to see next. And then I thank you for watching.